Hello everyone, my name is Arun Kumar and I am your instructor for the module on guidelines to choosing your best browser based on your requirements. The learning objectives of this module are, we will learn about selection of a browser based on your requirement. We will also learn various browsers and platform types. Interestingly, we would also learn about low memory text only browsers which run on low memory systems and doesn't render graphics and transact only in text. But before we go on to learn this module in further slides, I think most of us choose browsers based on what is supplied with the platform. So suppose you buy a laptop and there's a browser already installed on the laptop, you go by default and use that laptop. Browser selection is not difficult for most of us. But then still, if you start going into deeper and understand why and how you can select a particular browser to your need, it becomes tough. In fact, internet browsers are the key to internet these days. So everything you have to access on the internet, the World Wide Web, you will need a browser. More so, in the era of smartphones where you use different apps to use services, they have an inbuilt browser that is supported by the Android system web view. And in fact, at least for most tasks, you need browsers. And there are many, many browsers for every platform and operating system. So if you are serious, the choice can be really, really tough. If I mention some popular browsers, the first and foremost name that comes to my mind is Mozilla Firefox. That's from a open source perspective. There's Google Chrome from the Chromium project that they have. The Chromium is a browser which does not have the capabilities like the Chrome has because Chrome is supported by Google. Though the Chromium project is also supported by Google, but that is for an open source version for Linux. Next browser that comes to the mind is Internet Explorer from the era of Windows 98, 95 and onwards. It was the most popular browser till some time ago. And now Microsoft has rolled out a new browser named Edge. So when you buy a laptop which has Windows installed, you get both the browsers pre-installed. We also come across a popular browser named Safari, which is very popular on Macintosh based system, whether your iPhone, whether it is your iMac or your iPad. Another popular browser, which is uh, Opera, is found on most platforms. So let us see how you can judge your computer and your requirement and arrive on a last few choices between browsers so that you select that browser which is actually suits your need and requirements. The number one step is you will have to first determine the age of your computer not in terms of when you bought it in terms of hardware and software capabilities. You will have to also decide whether it is your personal computer, your laptop or is it a mobile device like a smartphone or tablet. You first need to decide the age and to do that you can do it either going to the windows key and doing a right click on the start button and there will be a pop up menu that will arrive. You have to then click to system and when you click on the system menu a new window dialog box will appear. It will tell you the device specifications like the one in the picture tells that this laptop is a HP Pavilion gaming laptop. That means it will have better hardware capabilities. The processor is a i7 2.20 GHz speed processor of Intel. The installed RAM on the device is 8 GB out of which 7.89 GB is usable. 
then you get the device ID and product ID. It also tells you that this particular device is a 64 bit operating system that means it can handle more instructions and there is no pen or touchpad support. So if there is a browser which supports touch on a laptop that browser will not function perfectly on this laptop with full features. There will be some features which will not be accessible because this laptop doesn't cater to a touch sensitive screen. Moving on we see the Windows specification. This laptop has a Windows 10 home version with a single language support and it was installed on 27 September which is latest when we had recorded this lecture. It also tells the OS build that means overall the hardware and software capabilities of this particular laptop is very sufficient to handle all my needs. Now that you have judged the age of your computer like the computer we showed had good hardware and software capabilities. Now I need to decide what kind of browser I want and what it should be able to do. You might want it to be very very simple like handling only the bare necessities you enter some website and it gives you a re response you might also want it to support p2p working websites some plugins to support it you may want it to support social media websites so that you don't have to log in again and again and it maintains your session you might as well want it to save your browser favorites or a suggested website that you frequently visit so all these things you need to decide before you go on to select a browser after you've decided the hardware capabilities. You may also want some basic features like the popular RSS feed reading wherein whenever a website updates its content the browser fetches it and shows you or gives you a notification. Some browsers have auto search boxes you may want to have a look on that. So you make a list of it all the requirements that you need Though it may sound that who will do all this for selecting a particular browser. But if you do it, you will actually have a very suitable browser for your need. Rather than going for a browser which has so many features and you are not using and wasting your memory and hardware specifications. You focus on a browser which caters to your particular need. Make a list of it. Do a checklist. Do a yes or no on features and extensions that you want. Moving on to the next step, you should also understand what kind of platform you are on because some browsers are only available to a certain operating system. Like if I mention Ice Weasel browser, so this browser is particularly available on Ubuntu systems, Ubuntu which is a Linux based OS system. Let us just see what kind of browsers are available in the market and on what platforms these are available. First and foremost, if I see Mozilla Firefox, it is available on the Linux version, it is available on the Windows version and the Macintosh version. These are the popular operating systems in the market. So I've just seen which browsers are available on which particular platform or OS. Coming on to the next, if I say Ice Weasel browser, which is also an extension of the Mozilla Foundation, it is only available on Linux and Windows. It's not available on the Macintosh system. Google Chrome is particularly not accessible on Linux OS but it is indeed accessible on Windows and Macintosh system. So when you want to install Chrome on Linux web OS you will have to go to a different project of Google which is the Chromium project. The Chromium project gives you access to a Chrome like web browser on Linux, Windows and Mac. Seeing the next browser the latest from Microsoft Windows which is the Edge. The particular web browser is not available on Linux. It is available on Windows and Mac. Similarly, Internet Explorer. The erstwhile Internet Explorer, most popular, is not available on Linux but Windows and Mac. Safari browser is again not available on Linux but it is available on Windows and Mac. And judging the Opera browser which is available on Linux, Windows and Macintosh. So we see there are different combinations of web browser availability 
based on platforms you may as of now see that most web browsers are not available on linux but then linux supports so many different browsers which are performance wise suitable to linux environment so you will have to particularly choose and see a browser based on your platform so now we have gone through three steps and we have seen what is the age of your computer you have seen what kind of platform you are on you have also decided most features that you want and you now know that what browser is available on your platform or not you can now do a small research about browsers which you have circled on you can see whether you want a tab browser which can support multiple tabs which includes safari and it is fairly new to windows but it is working well firefox which supports most plugins available in the market when i say plugin plugins for adobe pdf plugins for playing s.264 video it also supports plugins for blocking adware which appears on websites and covers your main text if you go to opera browser it supports torrents the peer to peer file sharing mechanism opera also supports different email plugins and runs on most mobile devices interestingly it has a turbo mode which speeds up the browsing speed so if i mention another not so popular browser the conqueror which starts with k it has a dual purpose it has a inbuilt file manager it has a cmonkey which is a html editor most developers prefer to have that and an inbuilt email client which can cater to all your email needs interestingly there are browsers which are as low as 1.2 mb in size name of that browser is off by one o double f b y o n e off by one it is as tiny as 1.2 mb and there are browsers as flock which has all the social media networking plugins inbuilt though as on date the support for the browser has ended but the last stable version is still available you have now found out most browsers and you have seen their features and you have compared them with you your own choice this is the step 5 you compare them with the choices that you have features that you want at this point in time if you feel that you have almost decided on a particular browser you could also go for some low memory browsers which may provide you similar features but still consume less memory consider off by one another low memory browser is dilo there is skipstone and there is uh, netsurf and suppose if your primary concern is speed and you want browsers that can serve you pages faster than fast you can actually consider a text based browser which is very popular the name is e links this is a browser which is a text only browser so it will not process graphics it will not process images but it can give you pure text which is fast to process fast as an experience the last stable version of this particular browser is 0.7.11 it is available on its website you can search for e links in google and then download it you may also want to consider if you can add some features to a particular browser later on suppose you select a browser today and there is a new development which comes in the market and your particular browser does not allow you to extend or install that particular extension so you will lag behind and if you want that particular service you will have to change your browser and leaving your important features important data on the particular browser which you were using up till now so see to it that you could add lot of features to a browser later on in fact see their particular web store like the chrome web store there is a mozilla add-ons web store which tells you and gives you lot of plugins and extensions to add to the last and final step that i would like to tell you is that after you have decided what browser you want to choose you download it and you install your new browser feel the experience enjoy browsing do it safely with this we come to the end of the module 
Now that you have decided and more or less understood how to choose a browser according to your needs, now you need to experiment with the browser to improve your security settings. Thank you and happy browsing.